Taurus, hi, welcome to the Yellow Mandala. Here we leave stories of your past, present, and the future. And if this video resonates with you, please hit that like and subscribe button. And this is for your December weeklies. And with that said, let's get started. Taurus, for December weeklies. Ace of Coins, Three of Swords, Eight of Coins, The High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. All right, your overall energy is five of cups. It feels like a missed opportunity. Um, it just feels like let's just get clarifying, you know, before I speak any further. Okay, Ace of Coins. What happened here in, the, in your recent past? The Queen of Cups, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, Five of Cups twice appeared. Um, it just feels like a lot of missed opportunities, like uh, someone gave someone of offered them love was open to them that uh you know this is what i want to do with you uh it is like a brand new idea let's you know like do you want to like grab dinner or something but then it feels like the other person was too focused on their on their on their on, on themselves on their career and then now it feels like a missed opportunity now they feel they come to a realization that sh damn like oh snap i should have like said yes to this person right now they're just crying over spilled milk you know uh and this has caused a lot of hurt for you because I don't think you as a person been rejected before. Um, and it's giving you a lot of sleepless nights. There's a bit of, you know, like, like, like someone let down your trust. The world in reverse, the nine of wands upright, and the page of swords upright. It feels like you're still, you're still like recovering from a situation, Taurus, and you don't want to like end the cycle. You're not, because of the hurt, you're, you're still healing. And because of, you're also like focusing on your own self. You maybe you have a deadline around the corner and you're but, but then you're proud of yourself you're like you know at least i made the move i feel like it's you who made that offer to them you know again the energies can be reversed but you know uh who made the offer to them got shot down um and then but then you're proud of taking the step because you're like i don't want to like you know five years later i don't want to like look back and tell myself that oh my god why was i why why did i chicken out so you're proud of yourself but but then you really because of this hurt you're not letting the cycle come to a con come to com uh, completion and you're not open to any kind of message from this person it feels like you block them you're like you know what how, how dare this person reject me so you're just focusing on yourself eight of coins clarified by the devil in reverse the six of pentacles and the ten of swords right a, a sense that you're going to soon come to come to a conclusion of your hurt you're going to like realize that it was not worth it but then you secretly like really like this person and then i feel that all you want for them is equality to treat you well and to take this forward properly but then the devil in reverse could signify is loki being super obsessed the, the, the two of you are obsessed with each other they feel that this is some sort of a missed opportunity and um they're regretting their actions you know hmm. okay now let's look at the high priestess the king of swords in reverse the seven of cups in reverse the queen of swords oh my god both of you are not willing to make that move towards one another you know but then i i don't think the two of you have are are plan to date anyone else but uh, or see any, anyone else uh, if you're worried about you know uh, have they met someone else i don't think it's the case but the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse, both of you are pissed with each other for some reason. They're angry with you because you you must have blocked them or you must have pulled back energetically. And But both of you are like super pissed with, with each other, you know? Like, <laughs> nobody wants to make a move. So you like, I, I feel like intuitively you both are like talking to each other, like having te telepathic conversations. Um, <laughs> okay, the overall energy is Five of Cups. What happened here? The Three of Pentacles in reverse. The... The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles upright, the Three of Swords in reverse, right? Um, I feel that, I don't know what transpired here, maybe someone said no to one, the other person, and then maybe it wasn't done properly, maybe it was, it was done in an immature manner, like, what are you, like, what are you talking, like, how old are you, like, what do you mean love, you know? So, you're, like, holding back on your love right now, and then you really don't want to focus on that, and you, and you want to be, like, less busy with your work, so that you can focus on the broader picture, you want to be, like, happy in life. And you're still getting over this hurt. Both of you are still getting over this hurt. But I feel like right now, it's not going anywhere. I'm so sorry for this, Taurus. But it feels like both of you are pissed with one another, you know. So the moment you start clearing all these energies, can we see any sort of traction between the two of you? All right. So <laughs> I'm so sorry. But let's just get some clarification for some guidance from the universe for this week for 
Taurus, what is the guidance from the universe? The moon. Like I said, moon, the moon Chandra. So now this is a card. When the moon appears, it means that your emotions are all, all over the place. And it's not balanced out. And you see this uh, uh, symbol, right? The, the interlinking of the triangles. Now that indicates that uh, that's the coming together of, the, of a masculine and divine forces and feminine forces. So I feel like right now your masculine force, the, the logic side of the force is like is an overdrive. You, I mean, I feel that you're super hurt, which makes sense because this person uh, did not respect you. They took you for granted and all you want is equality. And I feel like you're going from a sense of, you know, uh, I want this, I want that. And I'm not ready to, you know, like budge because both of you are pissed with each other. And then your, your masculine and feminine energies are all over the place. So this is a moon card. It's a reminder that you need to like, you know, firstly calm down <laughs> and then bring both your masculine and feminine forces, you know, balance it out. Like think of, like think of it rationally and emotionally. Like you love this person, right? So they did something wrong. But if they realize, if, if they realize the mistake and if they come forward to talk to you about it, would you encourage that? So it's, it's, it's basically asking you, asking all those questions. I've learned one thing is that for you to get over this, it's easy to write down things like what hurt you. And because, I mean, if you, if you think about it like a few months down the lane, is it is it worth your time, you know? So that's, that's like a good exercise that, that you can do. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.